Hey, this is Alex, and I want to answer a question that came in. So the question is, seems like there's a part of yoga practice that teaches you to breathe through, extend through, or elongate through pain signals from the body. Over time, I found myself becoming more tolerant to pain, but I see this as going down a very slippery slope. Any comments? So there's, there's two pieces that, that the, the person who asked this question might be addressing, and I want to see if I can answer um, hopefully both of them. The, the first one, we'll come back to this in a second, the first one is, uh, is it possible, this is how I interpret the question, is it possible that by uh, reducing my, uh, increasing my tolerance to pain, that I could damage myself, that I could be in a pose, um, somehow having turned off my pain signal? My experience is that's actually the exact opposite of what happens. Um, on, if we are paying attention and developing our skill and not going too far too fast, then you're actually developing the skill to listen to your body. And the better you are at that, the more likely you are to catch injury way before it happens or catch issue, the, the source of an issue before it ever happens. And if that's true for you, then rather than worrying about uh, doing too much, too hard, too fast, you'll actually be taking it more easy. And doing what, uh, what is the definition of an asana any, is anyway, and that is being both steady and comfortable. The other half of the question now um, might, be, uh, might be related to the, in terms of the breathing and, and stress and pain. So this is a book by uh, one of my great teachers, Kelly McGonigal, who is the senior editor for the Yoga Therapy Journal. And she writes, pain is a protective mind-body response. Pain is a protective mind-body response. So we can all acknowledge and honor that it's there to serve us, to protect us, to help us, to lead us from going too far astray. But chronic pain is a learned, overprotective mind-body response. A learned, overprotective mind-body response. Now, what this means to me is we have a habit. That if we have chronic pain that's not going away and it's clearly not because I hurt my shoulder doing Vrashisasana, if I have a pattern of pain, then without necessarily going to the source of it, in the moment we can practice interrupting and switching that pattern. And even though pranayama wasn't designed for this, it was designed to contain our energies, to work with that energy so we can be enlightened, um, we can, because there's a mind-body, we can use various breathing techniques to interrupt the nervous system's response. Now breathing is that interface between our mind and our body, between our subjectivity and this great thing that moves through the world. So when we work with our breathing, we can start to facilitate a relaxation of your nervous system. Chronic pain is going to be associated with a heightening or a response, a fight, a reaction of the nervous system. So the more we can calm it down in times of fight, we can start to interrupt those patterns. And I've had lots and lots of success with people with lots of pain in short amounts of time changing their pain response. People going from a, from a subjective level of, of discomfort seven to a three in five to ten minutes through some gentle meditation. When we add in some specific energy work, it can be even better than that and they can start to make some lasting change. It needs to be a pattern. It needs to be a new pattern. So for someone who's got chronic pain, it's not enough to exercise. I found it's, rel it's rarely ever enough just to exercise. If we re exercise consciously, with the awareness that we're creating new patterns that are more healthy, oftentimes the chronic pain will start to tend to go away. And we can use the breathing, breathing practices to reduce the chronic pain in itself. To jump back to the original, uh, or the other interpretation, could I, is it a slippery slope if I reduce my pain in the moment while I'm in a pose? Hopefully, hopefully start to recognize the distinction between sensation on the one hand and pain danger, a protective response on the other. And if you can make that distinction, then whatever pose you'll do will be more beneficial, you get more out of it, and it won't hurt you in the long run. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions or you uh, want to uh, poke a little bit deeper into anything I've said, write down below your comments or send me an email at alex at 
iglesia.com. Thanks.